Hey guys, we're going to get right into today's video, which is going to be decluttering our master bedroom and our master bedroom closet. So I just wanted to give you a quick overview of what they look like. Not bad from the outside, but once we get to the drawers, it becomes a whole nother world. I get a little sloppy inside these drawers sometimes, and I definitely need to clean these out. I'll be grouping my master bedroom closet, not my husband's, his is on this side. I'm gonna stay away from his, he can do his own. But this is my closet. And as you guys know, I've redid this myself. It's been almost a year, so it hasn't been that long. But I'm gonna get into the nitty gritty. I have some bins and different things that I didn't really go through the first time I decluttered in there. So it's gonna be really good. My first step whenever I am decluttering is just to do a quick tidy of the space. So that is what I'm doing now before getting into all the nitty gritty, the drawers and our closet. So in my last video, I decluttered our master bathroom and I asked you guys what room you wanted me to do next. And it was neck and neck with the master bedroom here and the laundry room. I think the master bedroom won by like one vote. <laughs> so here we are. And next up will definitely be the laundry room and then I'll be moving on to our kids rooms. I definitely need to share our garage with you guys, but because I know a lot of you have been uh, requesting that. That is my husband's like area, like the rest of the house. I get to organize, decorate, and kind of put together, but the garage is his space. So I will probably give you guys just like an overview of what our garage looks like because it's actually very organized. My husband does a great job at keeping it cleaned out and put together. But anyway, I love hearing from you guys, so definitely make sure you are leaving a comment below, letting me know that you're watching, and just tell me if you've been enjoying this series. My eye has been getting so much better at spotting things that I know that will just end up sitting around. This was given to me, it was kind of a just hand-me-down gift, but I don't have enough time for all these tiny little gems. I wish I did, but I am just gonna like bite the bullet and donate it or give it away or give it back to the person that gave it to me and um, just not let it sit in my closet for years on end. <laughs> So I've tidied up our master bedroom, so now I'm just tidying up the closet. And I have a lot of clothes that are just laying on the floor. They're either like half dirty, like you know, those clothes that are they're clean, but they can be worn again, but they're not clean enough to be with the other clean clothes, if that makes any sense. <laughs> anyway, my daughter, she's four, also loves playing in here, so I was just taking out a few of her things. So this actually came from our desk and I put it in here because we really need a file cabinet. But anyway, I'll get to that later. These white bins actually came from my husband's closet when he cleaned it out and I'm going to put them up right here. I was just saying, yay, no more diapers because those were the last ones for my son. He's two and we just potty trained him successfully. He's been doing so good. So instead of taking absolutely everything out all at once, like I typically do, since I have everything basically organized in here into little cubbies, I'm going to be doing it like cubby by cubby just to make it a little bit easier on myself. But if you want to see a really, really, really good declutter of this entire closet before I had it organized, I will make sure all of those are linked in the comment below or in the description. So I love giving you guys little ideas of what I'm getting rid of. These are little cases and armbands for my watch. And these are all too big. I have been telling myself I was going to sew them down and make them smaller, but 
let's be real, I'm never gonna get around it to doing that. So I'm just donating it all. Okay, so these bins I didn't really go through last time, but they are our memento boxes. I don't know what else. There's a bunch of like keepsakes and stuff in here that I really need to go through. The one with the blue lid is actually my parents and I briefly went through it, but it's really not mine to go through. So I was going to give it to my mom and she can kind of decide what she wants to do with it. Long story short, they've been short on space. So I was holding on to some items for them and that was one of them. Anyway, I'm going through all of my memento stuff and I could not believe how much stuff I was just packing away in here that I did not need. Like my graduation hat. Like why am I holding on to this thing? I'll be cutting through a lot of this, but just kind of pointing out things that I don't know, might give you a better idea of what you might be packing away to and what you could get rid of as well. So this was a really old memento box that I've been holding on to and it's been years since I've gone through this. I can't even remember who Noel is. So why am I holding on to this? This was another thing. In 2006, we had a Girl Scout camp flag retirement ceremony. So these are ashes from a flag and I don't know whose idea this was, not mine, <laughs> but I don't know why I am holding on to it. This is another thing, like, I don't know what the heck this is from. Obviously it's Disney, Flight of Wonders. It says it's for a magical moment that I'm gonna remember for the rest of my life, but I don't remember. I have some overexposed old Polaroids and these are actually teeth that I got pulled out like years and years ago. Disgusting. Guys, it literally took me all day to go through that memento box, but I do have this whole pile of things that I was able to take out of there and I'm getting rid of. And I was able to fit a lot of my journals in my scrapbook in here that were not able to fit before. One of these days I'll be able to put our scrapbooks on our bookcase where they belong, but for now my kids just tear them to pieces. I tried, but two and four year olds really aren't good for scrapbooks. <laughs> so this little cubby that I'm doing next is my seasonal clothing. I guess that's what you call it, seasonal clothing. So I, I have like maybe three Halloween shirts that I like and I am obsessed with Christmas. You guys probably know that from my seasonal decor declutter. You saw all that Christmas decor that I have. Anyway, I also have a bin full of Christmas clothes that I keep in my closet here with just a few other Halloween tops, but I did end up getting rid of a few things there. Next up is my work bag, which really needed to be cleaned out. And this is the exact moment that I noticed some weird little, I don't know if they're bugs or droppings or what, but they are teeny tiny. And I definitely cleaned all of those up and made sure they were not in my bag. So besides being a basically full-time mom, stay-at-home mom, I am a registered nurse. So I work like one day a week right now. I'm just working like a six hour shift just to kind of keep my foot in the door. It's also just a really nice security to just kind of like fall back on. YouTube is just a little hobby for me. Honestly, you guys keep me so motivated to do things and stay on top of things around my home that it motivates me to keep making these videos for you guys to be motivated. So it goes both ways here. Anyway, this bag was getting pretty cluttered. I have a lot of things that I need for my nursing job, a lot of paperwork that I need to hold on to, and of course my stethoscope and different things like that. But there was also a bunch of stuff in here that I did not need. So all of this you see on the floor is coming right out of that bag and I am 
putting it where it belongs or throwing it away or wherever it goes. So in the past, I have taken all of our clothes and put it on our bed. It's called like the KonMari method. You just pile it all together in one spot. And it makes you really realize how much you actually have and forces you to really put your eyes and hands on every single item. So I'm still doing that here. I'm going through every single item, but I really don't have as much as I have had in the past. So I felt like it was so much easier for me to really just go through these one by one on the hangers and just take out whatever I know I'm not going to be wearing again. So the left side of my closet is where I keep all of our long sleeves. I have all my like hoodies on the left and then I have cardigans. I love cardigans, just normal long sleeve shirts, even though it's not winter right now, but they're all hanging there. I have all my dresses all the way right here on the right and I do have a spot on my closet for my longer dresses. That's really nice. These shoes are going to be my next area to tackle. So if you can't tell already, I'm not a huge shoe guru. I have a limited amount here that I am perfectly happy with and content. I'm not a big shoe person. I also, if you can't tell, <laughs> a lot of them are very neutral and can go with so many different outfits, but I've never been very big into fashion or anything. I'm a very jeans and t-shirt kind of person. This went to a mattress cover that we no longer have anymore, unfortunately, so it was unopened, but it's something I need to get rid of because I'm not using it. So I was on the fence of actually keeping this file cabinet, but we really need one. So I am going to keep it in here. It used to be in our desk area that is now my sitting area. But anyway, I feel like I need to like decorate it, like paint it and make it look a lot nicer in here. Maybe put some like flower decals on it or something. So I'm still going through one by one. I do cut through a lot of it because I think it might be a little bit boring for you guys to watch me to go through every single shirt here, but I am making sure each one of these are things that I do actually wear. So I think I'm actually going to move all the hangers backwards. It's a really good way of trying to see what you've actually worn the past year. The last time I did this or tried to do it, I was pregnant so that did not work or I became pregnant before, like after I had started it so that did not work for me that year <laughs> and um, now that we're not planning on having any more kids anytime soon I really want to try that again so basically hangers go on backwards and anything that you wear you put it on forward and then by the end of the year you check to see what's backwards and those are all the items that you did not wear. So before starting, I was actually hurting for some hangers. I really needed some, but now I have all these extra ones. And this is a pile of more clothes that I'm adding to my donation pile. This is something I really felt was worth sharing. It was something a lot of you found helpful the last time I went through, but it's my sheets. They are folded up and then put inside one of the pillowcases. It keeps the set nicely like organized together and it looks so much better on the shelf. I'm not done yet. We still have to go through the rest of our master bedroom, but this is my completely refreshed closet and I can't even describe how good it feels. 
next up is my nightstand so this bottom drawer is actually where i keep all of my supplies for editing these videos so my laptop and basically any of the power cords and the microphone that i use to record my videos the next drawer here is actually going to be getting relocated a lot of this is actually papers and things that i need to file or put away somewhere else not in this drawer so i have that file cabinet that's in my closet now so they will be going right in there this one just had the most random things in here i don't even know how the manuals made their way in here but they have a spot in my file cabinet with all the other manuals that we have So here's everything that's coming out of my nightstand. A lot of this just really didn't belong in there in the first place. And here is the file cabinet that I have in my closet. So it's completely empty. Um, so I'm going to utilize it now that I'm positive that I'm going to be keeping it. So if you guys have a good eye and we're watching closely, in those last shots you would have seen all of these just organizers this is my little i don't know it just reminds me of a squirrel gathering all its nuts and you know packing them away that's me with organizers so i had actually been holding on to these as i was decluttering the rest of our house to make sure i didn't eat it anywhere else and i don't so i'm definitely getting rid of those now i love these under the bed bins i have some just like storage saver bags in here this one's not too exciting. The other one is full of our like winter stuff. And then I got these pillows and we don't like them. And it's super unfortunate, but they're not working for us. And I shoved them under our bed to try and forget about them, but we need to just donate them so somebody else can use them. Talk about wanting to forget about something. This is actually a laptop box that I did forget about. And um, I actually just sold the laptop for parts. The motherboard had gone bad for it like within a year and a half. It was absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, I digress. I want to forget about it now. And that box is being recycled. Going through more of the drawers. A lot of these drawers are actually my husband. So I will not be going through those, but I will be going through all of mine. This is the pile from earlier. It's some of the donations and just trash from my memento boxes. And I'm finally just putting it all inside a trash bag. I feel like I probably should have started with a trash bag in the first place instead of just making a pile on the floor. But it does give you guys a pretty good idea of how much I was actually able to go through and get rid of. This drawer is where I like to keep all my pajamas. So I'm just taking absolutely everything out so it's easier for me to go through on our bed. Anything I don't wear anymore, but I want to remember, I'll just take a quick picture of and then I can let it go. I went through like my socks and underwear drawer, but I'm not going to do that on camera. Anyway, here's all of our donations and trash recycling that is making its way out of our master bedroom and our closet. 
If you enjoyed this video and it gave you some motivation, please hit that thumbs up for me. Make sure to leave a comment below so I know you're watching and subscribe if you're new. I make a new video every single Sunday. Next week, we are going to be tackling the laundry room. Thanks for watching. Bye.